Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I am so so excited to show you guys how to make a mermaid tail pattern. This is the first video of us getting ready for our show, so let's begin. Alrighty, so the materials that you're going to need to make your mermaid tail pattern are some construction paper or poster paper, some tape or duct tape, and some scissors. So basically what you want to do is just get all your paper together and then just tape it together to make sure it's one co cohesive piece. And then what we did was just lay on the paper and then have somebody, you know, someone close to you or whoever to trace around the outside of your body and you will definitely get that mermaid shape. So this is what it looks like once we are done tracing. Um, so as you can tell, it definitely does look like, or it's beginning to look like a mermaid shape. And then at the end of your mermaid shape, you want to add your monofin. I'm using this Finn's monofin. You can use any one you want, um, but trace that. And then you can add more of a fluke if you want. As you can tell, that middle line is the monofin. And then the outside corners are just extra material that I wanted to add to my tail. And then just like make sure your lines are redefined and just very, you know, straight. And whatnot and then once that is done you're going to want to tape the front side of your pattern together to make sure that nothing really like fails and nothing slips out and then you're going to want to cut it out but for mine I noticed the bottom was kind of uneven so I left the left side uncut so I could fold over my pattern to make sure that everything was right and everything was symmetrical because you don't want to have a lumpy mermaid tail um, pattern so just make sure everything is you know cohesive and straight so this is me flipping it over to make sure that each side was right and then I just cut out that side of the pattern and then I also went up towards the different angles and I like kind of made lines where it like overlapped and then this was the extra um, paper that I had to cut off so that it would be cohesive to the other side so you just want to make sure everything is symmetrical and in the same size and then voila you are done this is how you make a mermaid tail pattern I hope you guys enjoy this video and I can't wait for you guys to see the more of our mermaid stuff thank you hello everyone welcome back to my channel and today I'm gonna be doing an unboxing 